Guys, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Kingfisher's YouTube channel. Don't forget, like our video, subscribe to our channel, hit the bell icon for notifications. Today I'm going to be doing my blackfin trace. Okay. What we require, again, is our 200 pound carbon coated wire. Obviously a little sinker just to do it. Uh, sinker clip, heat shrink. This is a number one power swivel. You can go bigger if you want, it's up to you. Um, little stopper beads. Uh, these are the soft ones, our Kingfisher soft uh, luminous uh, stopper beads. Our number three NT swivel, go as big as you can. You can, however, use a power swivel if you want, it's up to you. Um, a little bobbin for doing a PR knots and that. But I'm going to be using chartreuse just to show you how it is. Normally I'd use a black um, or an olive uh, J braid, anything along those lines. Uh, but chartreuse just to show you the knots and that. Our 12-0 tuna circle hook. Okay. Pair of pliers side cutters, whatever you want to call it, um, our mustard scissors. Okay, let's just clear everything off the table, make life easier for us. First thing, this is 10 meters long, uh, our 200 pound carbon coated wire. I have, however, cut it into three pieces, so it ends up being 3.3 meters in length. So just before the show, I just cut it to make three, basically three meters long, 3.3 meters long, and to make three traces. So there we go. Okay, so this is 3.3 meters in length from there all the way to there. Okay, happy. The next thing that I require is my hook. So we're going to start from the hook all the way down, all the way up, sorry. <coughs> so these are 12 O's. They're in line. Okay. It's a very hard hook. Take our side cutters and what we do is we open the eye very slowly so we just put that in where it comes together over there squeeze down and you basically lever the hook away just to open it slightly so here we go <coughs> and there we go you can see the eye starting to open and we just do it slowly so we don't actually break the R off. Okay, that should be more than enough. Then, we've got our number seven solid welded ring. Take our hook, slide it on. Okay, so we basically put the solid ring onto the R. Now to close the actual R of the hook, we just go to our vise here. Stick it in the vise and lightly just squeeze it tight but as you squeeze it you move the hook so you don't put all the pressure on one side so now you can see that it's completely closed have a look at that guys okay so there's your solid ring that solid ring breaks at 730 pounds so it's never going to open that solid ring okay the next part of it and there's lots of ways of tying it i just use figure of eight it's quick, it's easy, it doesn't let me down. So there we go. To do the figure of eight, we're going to take our finger, stick it on where the solid ring is, and put your fingers between the hook there. It also stops you from getting poked. There we go. Once, twice, take the tag in through the back, open it up, like that, form your tag in. There we go. There's a the figure of eight forming. A bit of lubrication. Just going to take my pliers quickly and just pull it a little bit tight. Okay, so there we go. There's the figure of eight on the actual loop. I'm just going to slide it down. There we go. And now stick it in the vise and just pull tight. Okay, grab another pair of pliers here. Okay, here we go. Uh, 
hot as you want. I'm now going to cut off the tagging, but I'm going to leave a little bit of tagging. Okay. So all I've done is just left a little bit over there. Just neaten up the knot a bit. Take my pliers and just squeeze the knot. It just prevents it again even more from coming loose. Just If you just give it a little bit of a, a nick there, you'll see it actually squeezes it together. Then what we do is we take some of our heat shrink, stick it on, slide it all the way down. Okay, there we go. So now all I'm going to do is slide it over the knot, over there, take a lighter. Obviously you can use a kettle if you want. Steam actually works better, but such heavy wire, such heavy trace doesn't really make a difference. Like that, turn it around, and there we go. That's it there, done with the heat shrink, the knot, and the solid ring. The solid ring gives it a lot of movement. That's basically what it's there for. So when your blackfin or a raggy grey nurse shark, doesn't make a difference which shark it is, when he inhales it, you've got so much more opportunity for that to move and rotate than if it was a solid piece of wire attached to it. In the old days, we used to do it like this. And of course, a lot of times, the hook will pop out because it's too stiff there's a lot more movement on this one than there what there is on that one okay a lot of movement no movement get a better hook set with that than what you do with that over there okay that's snelled that's done with a solid ring you can either use a crimp if you want it's up to you I just find it's just easier and you don't damage the actual wire if you just take a piece of nylon and I'm using 20 kilo Kingfisher leader line one two three so it's a figure of eight like I said you can use crimps but there's a figure of eight you give it the length that you want so 500 maybe 600 Pull tight, <clears throat> cut off, cut off, do it again, one, two, three times, pull it close to where the second one is over there, and we just cut it off. Okay, so there we go. So it's basically two figure of eights that we've actually done. That's all we've done as stopper knots. Um, then we take our heat shrink, there it is there. Just cut a little piece of heat shrink off. Once again, slide it all the way down. Okay. I find if you actually just wet the knot a bit and you use your lighter, you don't seem to have any problems whatsoever with it. So we just quickly use a lighter, da -da -da -da. there we go, back down here, turn them over, do the other side, and you can see the, the moisture coming out of a, the actual knot over there. Finger around. And you can see how nicely that heat shrink's pulled over that knot. Get a close up on it, you can see it. The next step is our soft beads. And we're going to take two soft beads out here. So we've got two soft beads. Stick it on like that. If you find it's a bit tough, just a little bit of lubrication and that 
silicon bead will go all the way down with no problems whatsoever. Okay, so there's the soft stopper bead. Then we take our NT swivel. There it is there. And this is the biggest NT swivel that we actually do here at Kingfisher. It's our number three. Slide him on. And the reason we use that NT swivel, just to let you know, is that it's actually flanged on the sides over there and over there. So when the shark takes off and it rubs against the actual line at an angle, it doesn't cause that pigtail. Okay, so it protects your wire, you can use it over again. You won't have to change your trace. So NT swivel definitely helps. There we go, through. Take the next rubber, slide it on, slide it all the way down again. To the bottom. So basically that's that's what we've got at the moment. Okay. Now we're gonna take our PR bobbin. And whatever length we want it to be. So if your drop is say 1.3, 1.5, whatever your drop is that suits you. So mine is about 1.5, so I'm going to make it about that length. All I'm going to do is just take my side cutters, cut about that much wire off, okay, of the 200 pound. Lay it next to it. We take our PR bobbin and we just Do that. Cut the tag end off here quickly or burn it off. I'll just burn it off. Okay. Just wrap it over again. Go back down. So we've basically done that much on the PR bobbin. That's all we've done. Take it over and back through. Slide it all the way down. So we're just locking it off, tying a half hitch in the actual uh, line. You can use super glue if you want. Won't make any difference. Um, that's that's it there. Cut that off. Yeah. J braid doesn't cut as easy as you think. Okay. So that's pretty much all that we've done. Okay, we then take our heat shrink again. We're cutting a small little piece, about three centimeters, four centimeters long, maybe five, doesn't make a difference. Slide it back down. <clears throat> Up and over both of them. And what this does is basically stop this from unraveling. Okay. Our lighter again. Okay, so that's basically what we've done. Then we take our number seven solid ring once again, slide it onto it, take our PR bobbin again. And we start on the opposite side. So if I can show you, that side of it is the side that we're going to start PRing. And we're working our way to that solid ring. Starts to get tight. I then take my side cutters and cut off the excess wire that we have. Okay, so you guys can see. That's all I've got. I'm going to hold that and then just work my way down. Okay. Cut off the excess or just burn it off. Okay. 
then all we're going to do is just carry on PRing it back up and over again. Three half inches, more than ample. Like I said, you can use super glue, it's up to you. And guys, once, once again, I'm just using chartreuse just so you guys can actually see it. We'd use black, we use olive green, I use mostly olive green, but black works as well. You want to try and keep it as natural as possible so you don't actually see this big chartreuse thing in it. Heat shrink again. Again, same length, four, five centimeters, three centimeters, depends on how big you want to do it. I'll just keep it nice and long. Slide it back onto it. Like that. And then I'm just going to use the lighter once again. I'm just going to turn it around. Okay, so there's our solid ring. Sitting over there. We've got our swivel, and I'll just take that up to where it should be. Okay, so there's your stopper. You've got enough movement in it. Like I said, that's about 500. You've got about 500 here as well. So you've got one meter out of the 3.3 .3 meters that is actually going to be able to move. So the black fin will come, pick it up, swim off, bite, bite, swim off as he swims off. The sinker's going to run down. The sinker's going to run all the way down to the stopper. Get him in the side of the mouth because the hook's going to turn. Okay. But now you ask, how do you throw such a long thing? Next part to it. The next trick. So you take quite a big piece of uh, heat shrink. And I'm just going to measure it for you guys. Where the hell is it in here? Uh, hmm. Okay. So this is about four centimeters. Okay. So that's about four centimeters long. Take our power swivel. Again, it's number one, one oh, it's up to you. Put our heat shrink on first. Slide it down. Take our number one or one oh power swivel and we tie a figure of eight on it. One, two. Open it up. Pull tight. There we go. So there's the figure of eight. Remember to keep your fingers in there so you don't kink that part of it. Slide it down so there's no kinks. And the easiest way of actually doing it is to put that in there. Wrap that around your hands. Oh, sorry, you can't see down there, but pull tight. I'm just going to use my legs up. There we go. I'm very happy with that one. Okay, so we've pulled tight. We then take our normal pliers and we just squeeze it. Over there. And we give ourselves quite a bit of wire here, as far as a tag end goes. And I'll explain to you while I'm doing the second part of this, why we do it. Okay, so what we do is we cut it off about there. Okay. So we're making that quite long and take the PR bobbin once again and I'm only going to PR it just to make it neat. You don't have to do the step to it but I just, yeah, I just like to do it. It makes it look nice and neat, stuff like that. You can just use normal heat shrink which we're going to use after this. So one, two, three, there we go. Work our way up, work our way down. All this does is basically stiffen the whole section up. That's all I'm trying to do is just stiffen it up a bit. And again, we tie it off by doing our half edge. There's a half edge and our third half edge. Okay, so there it is. I'm going to take my lighter. Take our heat shrink. There she is. Push it all the way up to where the, the actual swivel is, the top of the knot. Over there, if you can see that. Take our lighter again. And all I'm going to do is just lightly melt it. Like I always say, steam is better. But I don't have time. And like I said to you before, the only user, reason I'm using the chartreuse one is so that you guys can actually see what's happening here. 
So there it is there. So what we've got is we've got a huge big long trace like that. This whole trace only has two knots. In other words, that knot there and that knot. Those are only two knots in this whole trace. Leave it there. Then we take our sinker clip. Now to make the other clip, and I'll show you how we do that. Cut that off. We open that up there. And we just cut it down. Okay, so basically we've got a little J-shaped clip. What I'm going to do now is I want to open that up a little bit. So to open it up, all we do is we take our round nose pliers, the round part at the back of it, we actually use that more, and it opens it up to form a J-shape. We take the back of the R and we just bend it back ever so slightly. Okay. We then take our pliers and we just bend it open slightly. Like so. And we add it to our swivel. There we go. Now we close it. There we go, it's closed. And that's basically the clip sitting next to our thing here. I just want to make that ah, a bit bigger. Just to bend it a bit better. So there we go. So what I've done is I've bent the R back. I've opened the clip up. So you see, if I can hold it properly, can you see how flush by bending the back of the R of that sinker clip backwards a bit, about 30 degrees, it sits right next to our heat shrink on the actual clip. That now is used to hook onto the solid ring there. What we do is we just pull it, shake it a bit so we can see. It just has to come off, that's all it needs to do. So that one is still sitting a little bit too tight for what I like. I'm just gonna open him up a bit more. There we go, done, okay. So there we go. Now I'm going to add some nylon, a sinker, and you can see how the whole thing fits together. Of course, we're going to need a dangle to bait up, so I've got one ready made. I'll just stick a dangle on here, so we get the right length. There we go, there's a dangle already made up. Now what I need is some nylon, some... Basically, I've just added a dangle to it. In the link, you can see how to make dangles. There is a link to show you how to make these dangles up. So what I've taken is... 38 kilo Kingfisher leader line, sinker line. You can use one mole. Um, yeah, it doesn't really make a difference. But you need to use quite a thick nylon when doing this trace. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to see the length that I want to make it. Where is my swivel? There she is. And again, all I'm doing is a figure of eight onto it, nothing fancy. One, two, three. Cut it off nice and neatly. Now all I'm trying to do is get my length right for my sinker. And that should be perfect, so I'm going to cut it there. Attaching the sinker to it. Pull tight, cut off. So now, let me show you how this whole trace goes together. All the bells and whistles are done. So there your bait's gonna be attached in this area, over here. There's your sinker. There is the end bit. Your leader's gonna go on here. go okay so now let me show you the full length of it I'm gonna stand back a bit actually so there is the full length 
of the actual trace all done up ready for you to throw so three this is 1.6 meters from the bottom to the top part over here once it's actually released and if I hit the ground that's going to come loose it's now 3.3 meters well slightly less than that 3.2 meters because I've obviously cut some off for the hook and that but 3.2 meters in length as far as wire goes so I'm just going to take it and put it down in front of you guys there Stick this down, yeah. So now for that black fin, you've literally got that much wire for him if he rolls, if he jumps, if he turns, comes back and bites on himself. There we go. There's the entire length of wire, guys. And there's only two knots in the whole trace. So you've only got two weak points. Basically, where the swivel goes on here and where the hook goes on it, uh, that solid ring there. Those are the only two weak points in the entire trace. I'll just put it together again just so you can see. And there we go. Ready for you to throw. It's as easy as that, guys. Like I said once again, don't forget, I've only done this in chartreuse just to show you. Go out there and enjoy. Next blackfin, hopefully it's going to be on that trace.